Red Bull's Alex Albon just managed to finish inside the points at the last F1 race in Russia and is yet to perform at the same level as teammate Max Verstappen. Some have suggested that Red Bull needs to look at signing a more experienced driver. Verstappen has now given his take on this. I'm your host Dylan Shelley and first up on Formula World, experienced teammate or Albon, Verstappen chooses. Verstappen began by elaborating on the advantage of gaining experience in F1. I myself have a much better understanding of the car today than in my first year. Of course, I understand Formula 1 a little better. He then elaborated on his chemistry with Albon. Alex and I work well together, we're moving in the same direction. He accepted that an experienced driver has the edge when it comes to knowledge. Yes, it is probably the case that a driver with 10 years of Formula 1 experience knows more, that is completely normal. However, he thinks that the team is happy with Albon and concluded his words by explaining why. But I think the team is happy with Alex's feedback, understeer, oversteer, that's easy to explain. And when new parts come, we both want the same thing. Fast feed. Ferrari Sebastian Vettel thinks that there's other tracks that they would like to be added to the calendar because they love driving those tracks. However, it's not discussed because in the end, there's other interests that determine whether there will be a race held in that place or not. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff has suggested that while Sebastian is first and foremost a racing driver, it's all about the performance on the track, but it doesn't mean that he might not buy a few shares at Aston Martin. He further reiterated that Vettel's arrival is great at Aston Martin because Germany is the second most important market. Williams acting team principal Simon Roberts feels that the intent is good behind the budget cap, but how the intent plays out, only time will tell. He also doesn't see any reason why it shouldn't be as expected, subject to any loopholes or quirks. McLaren team principal Andreas Seidel is very optimistic with everything that is planned from 2022 onwards and hopes that over the years they create a field that is a lot closer together. That is why he is not a fan of introducing any artificial randomness into Formula 1 because that for him is not F1. A Haas spokesperson has refuted rumours that F2 driver Nikita Mazepin's father Dimitri Mazepin is looking to buy the team as the team is not for sale. Retired Red Bull driver Mark Webber has divulged that he and Vettel often did not act professionally during their Red Bull days. He however added they now get on well with each other and exchange messages so they let it go. And he further revealed that they had a lot of mental challenges and the team was in danger of falling apart so it was hard for Christian Horner to deal with that. Will the budget cap help bring the F1 field closer together? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.